<clears throat> Hello everyone. Today is Friday, December 23rd, 2022 at 2.05 p.m. This is my first official YouTube video for the day, even though I had a few up earlier. But um, I didn't get to introduce the date or the time. So when I introduced the, the date, that's my new official video for the day. Official video for the day. So, um, I slept a lot last night. I guess my body and my mind still catching up from the previous days of sleep deprivation. And, um, yesterday evening, last night, shortly after eight o'clock, they had a raggedy, dirty white truck that was idling directly by my window for a long time. And the moment I try to peep out the window to see, get frustrated to see who the hell that is or what, what is that, or try to grab my camera, then they drove off. So, um, and then I had to occasionally deal with people passing by, you know, blasting loud music and stuff. It's like, how do the perps, like, if you're inside somewhere, how do the perps know exactly where you are outside? I, I mean, from outside, like, the back window, like, if I'm in an indoor hotel, how do they know exactly where my window is from outside? Excuse me. Or, the, or like if they have like two doors and you're in an indoor hotel and there's a back door like how do they know exactly where you are you know um, but <clears throat> I had to deal with noise from upstairs and next door with um, noise and banging and beating and tapping and all kinds of weird stuff. I mean, on on previous videos, y'all y'all saw it on film, and they had a perp. I just see, saw their shadow walking by through the window. Um, through you know, I see the shadow on my windows and on the window in the wall in this room. So um, when I tried to do a couple of videos earlier. And the perps next door, you know, were beating and banging and doing weird stuff and interrupting me and stuff, you know. But if I don't get any help by no later than tonight, any extra help for more hotel room, um... I'm going to have to be back out on the streets tonight. I mean, tomorrow morning. And tomorrow is that coldest day. It's supposed to be 19 or 20 degrees. And then for me to go out there and it's that cold and having nowhere to go because of not being welcome at shelters due to the gang stalking and me being targeted. That's what they do. Wait till the coldest day, to, day of the year to ban you or kick you out from a shelter or they'll wait till it's raining like I showed y'all like December 3rd <clears throat> um, they'll wait till it's raining to kick you out or ban you from somewhere or and they did that to me um, at the college campus that I graduated from I was staying on the campus and the police and everybody was okay with it and then they waited till some very bad, life-threatening weather to throw me out cold on the streets and try to criminalize me and stuff. And did an official police ban, no trespassing ban, for my own college that I graduated from. As I said, they were letting me stay on the campus and then waited until a certain day to have a ritual set up. And that resulted in me leaving my hometown, New Orleans, and coming here to Pensacola. And once I got the tax refund check, I used that to come here to Pensacola thinking I was going to get somewhere to stay. And I did get a job. And then 
you know, that temp service job, they workplace mobbed me off there and they workplace mobbed me and lied, set me up and lied on me and wrongfully banned me from the, um, you know, it's like they, and other people come and tell you that the lies that the manager, that they'll tell you that the um, manager is plotting this and that on you behind your back and stuff. <clears throat> so, um, if they can't, um, if they can't manipulate you to quit, then they will lie on you. They'll set a, set you up and lie on you and fire, get you wrongfully fired and banned. So, um, and I've been like depressed all morning. And scared from not, I mean, f feeling afraid of not receiving any help and feeling in disbelief that people, that people either get frustrated or they don't want to help. But, and then they blame, you know, they blame the homeless and poor. And like uh, the country of America is outraged right now because of more billions being sent to Ukraine. When that was a manufactured fake crisis. And then everybody's like they're taking our jobs away. And it's like certain things we can't even speak on. You know, and getting falsely accused of this and that. And um, it's like, I mean, that's why I feel like this so-called you know, wrongful holiday punishment. I really feel like it was a um, a planned ritual, satanic ritual setup. That people saying that this is a life-threatening weather. And, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of, like, I heard, I don't know how many flights are canceled for the holidays. And everybody got to be stranded in, um, stay stuck and stay home and stay bundled up in freezing cold and battling to survive, you know, but it's funny how the traffic, the human traffickers always got money to blow. They always got a child to sell. They got money for that. They always got money to throw you in jail. They got money for that. They got money to throw you and lock you up and put a, put you away in a mental institution. They got money for that. So, um, yeah, I hear the tapping again. I can hear it, but you probably can't hear it now. They're trying to distract me, my video on purpose. That that go to perp neighbors, walking by my window again. But gang stalking money is always available. But there's no money to help a target though. So then he stopped the the demonic noise harassment. So. I'm, you know, everybody's ignoring me, um, shadow banning me, blocking me from getting any views. I mean, they're blocking me from getting any views on my con views or likes on my content, you know, so that the truth or the word can be spread around. You know, they're suppressing me on purpose. <clears throat> like as if my life doesn't matter. But you hear all the news sources, you know. I hear more from Mobile, Alabama, rescuing the homeless out of the weather than I hear of my own city, Pensacola. <clears throat> so, um, you know, I feel frightened of having to go back on the streets tomorrow. I mean, I don't know if the lady is going to charge me 
50 or $60 plus tax, you know, if I were to have more help for tomorrow and um, if I were to have help for tomorrow and then no help for Sunday, then I would be stranded on, stranded out here on Sunday. And and it's like a long way to, away from downtown, far away from downtown. <clears throat> so I was trying to and still am trying to get help for a week. I mean, I don't know. If if I get help until Tuesday, <clears throat> if that lady will add on, you know, the price. But, you know, she charged me instead of 60 she, she worked with me for being homeless <clears throat> and charged me $50 for two nights. And then gave me, a, like, a little bit, you know, she cared about me enough to have, you know, for me to have a little bit extra for food. <clears throat> so um <coughs> excuse me I need help until at least Tuesday night or Wednesday morning and then Wednesday and Thursday is supposed to be nice weather but then Friday, Saturday and Sunday or whatever the weather's supposed to be back warmer again, like 60 and 60s and 70. But then it's supposed to rain. And then, you know, not this coming Monday, but next Monday on January, I mean, next Tuesday, January 3rd, <clears throat> I finally get my Social Security check. You know, and, and the job starts on a second, you know. <laughs> And so, um, and I, I was told that I get paid, supposed to get paid bi-weekly with that new job. And I wish it was. Come on, man. And see, they're doing that on purpose. <clears throat> and that's what people do. Humanity is so fake, especially in America. It's the fakest country in the world. The fakest country, yet the richest country in the world. <clears throat> that, you know, people being so fake that they hate you and they're watching you spiral down to your death and they blame you for it and call it mental health and then you know, nobody like you, and they're pushing for you to be destroyed and die, and then only to um pretend to fake care about you after you're dead, and then make it like as if they wish that there was something that they can do to bring you back, or they'll say, well, you can't bring her back, <clears throat> and so, um, you know... <sighs> Excuse me. So, um, <clears throat> the true mental illness is being compliant with the New World Order beast system or worshiping the beast. That's the real mental illness right there. <sighs> but, you know, I don't know. I I just um don't know what much to say right now. And um this morning I just had some granola bars and peanut butter crackers and some of that um little juice smoothie drink that I got from Dollar General. And um that's all I had this morning, late this morning, like around ten o'clock this morning. And I slept a lot and then um later on I just laid here in bed and um it's cold outside and if I wanted to go back out and get me something to eat like some dinner or, or late lunch or early dinner or something I have to do it before dark because it's dangerous and scary out there you know it's not a good neighbor I don't, I don't want to call it a neighborhood because 
they don't have houses it's not a residential area <clears throat> um but i don't want to disclose where i'm at because of the online perps but the in-person perps know where i'm at but the online perps probably do as well because of them bragging about tracking me and stuff they actually bragged about tracking me so um i'm feeling a little bit better well rested today and um <clears throat> i want i mean i want to work on some short stories you know i don't know how many i plan to do but i'm still feeling the effects of sleep deprivation and in the middle of the night i was still feeling the vertigo sensation um, and they were vibrating me and now they're starting to vibrate me again. <clears throat> so, um, people are so cold and cruel, you know, and I'm disabled and have certain limitations and, um, it's like people want to punish you for refusing quote unquote mental health in which the mental, mental health is of the devil. The mental health system is demonic. It's satanic. <clears throat> and it takes your soul away. You know, and then you end up, it's like when you're compliant with the medication, they'll get frustrated and still lie and say that you're, you you that's what a narcissistic abuser would do. Force you to take medication in front of their face as prescribed every day. Even three or four times a day. Those psychiatric medications. And the doctors don't care. They just want money. <clears throat> and then the narcissistic abuser force you to take the medication Make sure it's in your body and in your system. They want you to lift up your tongue and inspect all of your mouth to make sure that you swallow the pill or pills with an S, you know. And then smear campaign you and lie and say you haven't been taking your medicine. And the religious narcissist, they'll the fake Christian narcissistic abusers or whatever other religion, they'll get mad and yell at you when you've been praying and faithful, you know, when you've been praying and reading the Bible and stuff, and they'll yell at you and say, that's because you haven't been praying. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. That's because you don't read your Bible. Or because you went through something bad or because you're going through some suffering. They'll try to make it like as if that's because you haven't been praying or reading your Bible. And then um, then after they say that, that's when you get dis discouraged and start to backslide. And these people do not care about your soul. The people who want to bully you about your so-called mental health, they don't care. They do not care about you. They're all about control and want you ruined and destroyed. And those are the same people who want to try to make everybody hate you and say, well, ignore Candy's YouTube videos because it's just an attention-seeking ploy. When if people get the adequate help and support that they need in society, you know, adequate living, then there would be no need for so-called mental health problems or mental health issues. If everybody's needs are met, you know, I don't think that there will be much so-called mental health crisis. Give people what they need, and you know, and there won't be a there won't be mental health problems. But they got housed people. They do drugs too. They got quote unquote mental health issues too. But the answer to so-called mental health problems is not to bully a person. 
bully them to their demise. And then you acknowledge that Candy has mental health this, or Candy's mentally challenged, or Candy is a kidult, or that Candy is, um, you know, mentally this, or mentally retarded, you know. If you feel that way, why do you feel like the solution is to bully me, bully and abuse me even more, and and violate and disrespect what triggers me? Like calling me greedy and put all caps, greedy on purpose, you know that's triggering for me. It's triggering enough to cause a mental health crisis or, or a mental health, you, you know, meltdown and stuff. Y'all fucked up. So, um, you know, y'all living the high life. There's a risk for me being on the streets with nowhere to go. And people want to tell me, go to this shelter, go to that shelter. I can't go where I'm wrongfully banned from. If y'all want me to take the bait and be set up and get arrested for quote unquote trespassing. <clears throat> and I told y'all about if somebody tried to send me, you know, information about the REAP program, I showed y'all what they did to me. Was it earlier this year? Yeah, I showed y'all what they did to me. So I can't go back there. And I didn't even know Salvation Army was tied to the REAP program. I thought those were for druggies, homeless druggie program, you know. <clears throat> so um, can't go to REAP. Opening doors, lie and say that that's not their job to help you find housing. Well, what are y'all here for? Why do you call yourself opening doors? <clears throat> um. It's, and, and nobody sees that the government is, de, whether Democrat or Republican, is systematically um, and deliberately destroying our country and then blaming the masses and blaming the citizens and calling us useless eaters. They're taking our jobs away and giving them to illegals, allowing illegals to come here, but we can't go to their country. And you, when you call things out, you get falsely accused of being the R word, <clears throat> you know. So, um, it's like, I wish that I was mentally well enough and mentally strong enough. I mean, I'm, the sleep deprivation is mentally ruining me that I can't even think clearly and can't think properly. And y'all hit me with the weapons and cause me all these problems and then blame me like as if my mental, de my mental deterioration is my own problem and my own fault, <clears throat> you know? And then y'all must look like some real dummies in God's eyes. Wow, they are vibrating me so bad. It might be the next door neighbor using the freaking weapons to vibrate my feet. And that's probably part of the reason why I got chronic athlete's foot. I mean, yesterday my toes, between my toes were itching and I took a bath. Well, I took a shower yesterday. And um, this morning, my toes, between my toes felt like they were trying to split and it was difficult to walk. You know, and, you know, them hitting me with energy weapons and causing me to vibrate. That's what got one of the biggest reasons that got me homeless in the first place. You know, and I'm and it's like you try to wake people up and educate someone about the truth, about the reality, what's going on. And then they're brainwashed and deceived and tell you that you're the one who's delusional and crazy and living in a fantasy land. So, um, <clears throat> so I don't know. 
it's really scary out here, you know. And that's why I'm crying out for help with, I don't, I mean, if people could, let's see, today is Saturday. No, today's Friday. Today is Friday the 23rd. So, I don't even, if if, the, if it's that cold, I don't know if the buses, if, if, if the winter, if the weather is that inclement or if it's that bad that the buses will stop running, I don't know. If the I don't even know if the buses will be running tomorrow, but they definitely won't be running Sunday. Sunday anyway, but because it's Sunday, it, they won't be running, and because it's the holiday, they won't be running. And I don't know if they'll be running on Monday. And for me to be just stuck out here, stranded with nowhere to go, you know, I mean, as I said, I wish I had more help with hotel room until at least Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. So let's see. Um, if people can help me tomorrow night, what? Well, let's see. Help me for. I mean, help me before the day is out, and if I can have help with like sixty-five dollars a day until Tuesday night. Let's see, Friday. Let's see, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night. So if I can have help with at, at about two hundred fifty more dollars. See, that'll be less than the four hundred. If 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 I could have help with like two hundred fifty more dollars before tonight is out, I need help with about two hundred fifty more dollars. But I mean, it won't be enough for like a for the four ten for a whole week. But they had this lady said that she was trying to get some church members to um gather enough help for me to get a hotel I mean the hotel room for a week but she said that they were either gone out of town or you know or doing this doing that or whatever so she couldn't reach them so um she said she couldn't reach them or find them or whatever but um as I said these churches won't even help they turn they I'm going to say they literally turn you away. These so-called Christian churches literally turn you away. Because they're secret Masonic sellouts. Secret Masonic satanic sellouts behind closed doors. And the symbolism of being hidden in plain sight if you know what to look for. If you're awakened to the truth. And those are the ones who get kicked out of the church or banned from a church but these so-called fake church services they'll give just the bare minimum of the illusion of helping people and I heard that the body of Christ is supposed to help the poor not the government that the body of Christ the so-called Christian churches is supposed to help and then these fake Christian churches these mega churches Illuminati sell out mega churches they take the money all for themselves. They don't have the money um, and give it to the poor. You know, the most they might do is give food, but that's their tax-exempt status, you know, and give you just crumbs and just the bare minimum and then give you expired food and then expect you to be grateful for it. If they just give nothing but bread and pasta sauce, like bread and tomato sauce. Like if they give you stale old moldy bread and tomato and expired tomato sauce and expect you to be grateful for it while they drive drive off in their 2023 Audi SUV vehicles or 2023 Porsche. That's how they rolling. And then you know they 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 won't give homeless people jobs, targeted or not. So, um, you know, you know, I plan to be productive this afternoon or this evening and work on some short stories and blogging, you know, hoping that I can earn some, earn some money, earn some support, you know, 
I'm at least trying whatever I know how. I'm too disabled to do day labor, and I'm pretty sure that. And and then I've tried to go to pace setters; they always turn me away. And um, action labor told told me that um, that there weren't jobs anyway. Not, I mean, but they advertise that there are always jobs, jobs, jobs. And then when I call, oh, we don't have much of nothing. So um. So. <clears throat> It's really difficult. And then the other temp, the temp service that I was working, um, well, I guess they consider, they have my, my disability and my hypersensitive ear situation in consideration. And so there's, they say they don't have anything available that's suitable for me, you know, with my disability. So, um, I don't know why people act like life is simpler and easier than what it really is. Life is truly hard and people and their fake rules and regulations and laws make things more difficult and depressing. <clears throat> and so I got so many views on my videos but hardly any thumbs up and hardly any support. And the same stalker haters are, they're, they're the ones stalking my videos while blocking me from getting any support from anybody else. <clears throat> and that's what they want to do. Um, you know, and then when you, when I am down and suffering, they mock and laugh at me and then they want to give offers to sell out. You know, it's frightening that people don't care about another human being suffering out in the in freezing, hard freezing weather. But y'all care so much to be, you're quick to rescue stray animals. It's backwards. And y'all call me loony. Y'all call me loony. You know, ah. Uh. <clears throat> So, um, and people are so judgmental, they're full of sin and wickedness and evil themselves, but they use judgmentalism of your suffering as a cop out and also to cover up their wickedness and while they want to pretend to have their nose turned up and their head high and arrogant and be narcissistic and self-righteous and just fake you know, so um, for some reason, me holding this phone, my left hand is numb and weak and shaky for some reason. <clears throat> so um, there he goes thumping. I don't know if that, that's a male or a female. I forgot also um, that housekeeper yesterday that was um. She was, that was the one who <clears throat> pretended to be fake nice, but she was throwing up the devil horns hand sign. And I don't know if she does, what drugs she does, you know. I don't know what, she, what drugs she's on, you know, but they let her work. But, um, but she, um, like yesterday, when she threw up the devil horns hand sign at me, and she was talking about how she really don't care about Christmas, but she loves Halloween. That's a straight up Satanist right there, you know. But that's who they allow to have jobs and work. And they be having people. And also, I forgot to say yesterday, um, the hallway in this place reeked of strong marijuana strong weed it smelled like strong weed in the hallway so um <clears throat> yeah i mean so i'm praying and hoping like even professed christians hate me and have given up on me the whole world has given up on me. 
but they have some celebrities who um like people say that I saw like this video where people were saying in the comments section were saying that oh well I mean I heard that um there was a video where they said uh, uh, Orlando Brown got arrested again and they try to say that he was a um they try to say that he was um on drugs and that he's a that he was a Hollywood problem child or that Hollywood messed him up and that he's on drugs and this and that whatever when he recently was speaking out against um transgenderism you know and then now all of a sudden he's in jail not that he did anything wrong but he spoke the truth and he's blacklisted and you know Hollywood fame did destroy him I don't know his background or history, which one of his parents pimped him out for fame. <clears throat> but I do know that he was a Hollywood Disney child, MK Ultra. So they want to, I mean, he got some bl bl black and blonde hair and his mugshot, he was smiling really big. And, um, but they call him a problem child, you know, but the only reason, and people like Raz B from B2K, you know, he spoke out and stuff. And so, you know, Raz B, um, you, know, you know, if they consider troublemakers for blowing the whistle and speaking out and they're seen by society as troublemakers and um, crazy and um, druggies or whatever, but people got some sympathy and care for them because they had the Hollywood fame. But I don't have any fame or anything so nobody really cares about me really you know <clears throat> and you know I wish I did have some emotional comfort and support that's genuine and real and not fake like if, if somebody pretend to be support and listen to you and then turn around and backstab and betray you and then reverse it on you and lie and say that you backstabbed back that you backstabbed and betrayed them you know, <clears throat> so um, they're vibrating my feet to the point where it's unbearable right now. You know, and I wish I had help, even though it's dangerous here. I stay in my room and mind my business. Like last night, yesterday was my first day. So <clears throat> I'm going to try to not be out and about at, when it's dark in this area. You know, I can't do it. So, you know, I'm still filming my stuff, but I just can't publicize it because, you know, me trying to not get banned from this place and that place, trying to survive and stuff, you know. So, um, I don't even know if Greyhound buses are canceled and stuff, you know. But, you know, I do not trust that guy offering to fly me out to San Francisco and then say, oh, I'm a target too. And, oh, you can live on my boat for free. You know, I, I, I'm scared to trust it. You know, look what happened, what Trisha did to me earlier this year. And look what happened <clears throat> to that lady that wanted to, to get me to come to Colorado. So, um, I'm scared, scared, you know. And that's why I said, if y'all don't hear from me after Sunday, that means I froze to death or start to get worried. Or even if it's Tuesday, you know, and I'm out there in this cold, you know, please worry about me. Then, you know, I'm letting y'all know what's going on. And all y'all can do is laugh at my videos and say it's attention seeking crazy talk. And even the professed T.I. community has given up on me. They don't care. And as I said, they got mercy and more mercy and forgiveness towards actual perps. I don't get it. So please, I got the information in the description box of all my videos and I need help 
trying to get a few more hotel nights since I can't go to the doggone shelters and there's really nowhere to travel right now. I can't get a flight to no doggone San Francisco anyway if flights are canceled because of the weather. You know? So, um, you know, I hate that people use my poverty and suffering as an opportunity to traffic me or set me up rather than letting me get my own way of living and survival, you know. So I'm scared of being back on the streets in the very cold tomorrow and do not know if the buses are running and I'll be stranded out here with no transportation, no nothing, you know. So thank you in advance. I'm crying out for help, please. 